On a dangerous seacoast, there once stood a crude little life-saving station. The building was just a hut, and there was only one boat, but the few devoted members kept a constant watch over the sea, and with no thought of themselves, went out day and night, tirelessly searching for the lost. Many lives were saved by this wonderful little station, so that it became famous. Some of those who were saved and various others in the surrounding area wanted to become associated with the station and give of their time and money and effort for the support of its work. So, new boats were bought and new crews trained. The little life-saving station grew. Some of the members of the life-saving station were unhappy that the building was so crude and poorly equipped. They felt that a more comfortable place should be provided as the first refuge of those saved from the sea. So, they replaced the emergency cots with beds and put better furniture in the enlarged building. Now the life-saving station became a popular gathering place for its members. They decorated it beautifully and furnished it exquisitely because they used it as sort of a club. Fewer members were now interested in going out to sea on life-saving missions, so they hired lifeboat crews to do this work. The life-saving motif still prevailed in the club decorations, and there was a liturgical lifeboat in the room where the club initiations were held. About this time, there was a large shipwreck off the coast, and the hired crews brought in boatloads of cold, wet, half-drowned people. They were dirty and sick. Some had black skin and some had yellow skin. The beautiful new club was in chaos. Property committee immediately had a shower house built outside the club where victims, the shipwreck, could be cleaned up before coming inside. The next meeting, there was a split in club membership. Most of the members wanted the club to stop its life saving activities as being unpleasant and a hindrance to the normal social life of the club. Some of the members insisted upon life saving as being their primary purpose and pointed out that they were still called a life-saving station. But they were finally voted down and told that if they wanted to continue to save the lives of all those various kinds of people who were shipwrecked in those waters, they could begin their own life-saving station down the coast. They did. As the years went by, the new station experienced the same changes that had occurred in the old. It evolved into a club, and yet another life-saving station was founded. History continued to repeat itself, and if you visit that shore today, you would find a number of exclusive clubs along that coast. Shipwrecks are frequent in those waters but most of the people drown. But not here. <laughs>